look it's uh, <laughs> down to the wire and uh, we'll uh, approach it. We get straight into the action on the Toyota Dealer Rally Gauteng and this is stage one of 12. Like all the other stages in the Bobsfontein area on the East Rand, it's a gravel stage over just less than 16 kilometers. Leading the field in cloudy and damp conditions, championship leaders Serge Damso and Robert Paisley in their S2000 Castrol Toyota Runex. At this point, the front runners still had mostly dry surface under wheel. Second in the championship, just four points down, Jan Habich and Douglas Judd in their S2000 Volkswagen Polo. They were followed by teammates Hogan Fecken and Pierre Aris, also in with a chance of taking the title, 13 points behind the leaders. Reigning champions Enzo Kuhn and Guy Hodgson in their works BP Volkswagen Polo, only one point behind their teammates in the standings. That's all rally winners Johnny Gemmel and Peter Marsh in the second Castrol Toyota Runex. Behind them on the road, Team Total Toyota Runex pair Jean-Pierre Damso and Quibbers Frey. Making their S2000 debut, Class A7 champions Mark Cronier and Chris Birkin in the third works Castrol Toyota Runex. Followed by privateers John and Douglas Williams in their Class S2000 Guma Polo. Well, the first race just didn't go too badly and, um, you know, still trying to get into it. And uh, Hergen and Johnny Gemmel have set a, a quick pace already, so we'll have to start, you know, see what's going to happen in the next few stages. I think at this stage we'll just go as hard as we can and... Uh, without taking too many risks and damaging anything and getting punches. So for now, it's uh, go as hard as possible. We tied with Johnny Gimmel on this stage. Um, we had a very good stage and um, we're about 15 seconds quicker than Serge and Yanni, but uh, obviously they're fighting for the championship, so they might not be pushing so hard. But we had a very good run, yeah. Leading the Class N4 field on the road, Charles Wilkin and Greg Godrich in their Sassol Konica Minolta Subaru Impreza WRX. Production car championship leaders, Fissa Duplessis and Dave Lefkowitz, in their Pertec Creepy Crawly Subaru Impreza WRX. Fernando Reuter and Gerard Snowman in the Team Total Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 9. So, Gemmel and Fecken shared the Stage 1 win, taking a joint early lead of 6 seconds over Kuhn, with Damso 8 seconds further back. Stage 2 was faster, if a little longer, and the scene was set for a gigantic four-way showdown. Damso needed to keep an eye on Habich, while Fecken and Kuhn had to go all out for a win. Fecken and Aris were confident about their steed and tackled Stage 2 with gusto. Yeah, we had a good uh, stage, uh, no problem. Car's going very well, um, we actually we have no problems, nothing to complain about. On board with front runners Gemmel and Marsh. started raining but not bad in the cockpit now with Kuhn and Hodgson left 240 right 2 100 right 1 left 2 right 1 100 100 left 6 it's a long right 8 the 6 left right 8 small cut no small cut on the crest, left nine. On the crest, left nine. No cut. Right two. Right two. Three hundred. Left six. Opens into right one. To left six. Six left. Opens into right one. Two hundred. Stay right. Flat right two. Flat. It's a flat right two again. It's a long left two. Flat here. Long left two. Right one. Left one. It's a fork. Right four. 
fork, right fork, tightens, cut, 70, before the tree, left nine. Before the tree, left nine. Left nine, fork, left three. Now you must fork left. Left three, fork left. It's left eight, late, turn right five. Turn right five, 60, it's a left three in. Left three in. You know, difficult to find the road, but uh, it's quite it's quite fast and playing. I quite enjoyed it. We had a good stay. We got lost on the notes a little bit, which might have might have crossed us time, but the rest of the car feels good. Mark Renier and Chris Birkin were running about 15 seconds off the pace in their first outing in the top class in the Sassol South African Rally Championship. They had dominated Class A7 to such a degree, winning all of the past seven events, that they've been promoted to S2000 on this event in preparation for the full onslaught next year. Damso was going for a record equaling 11th title and possibly his 75th victory, but as always he was keeping an eye on the bigger picture and wasn't pushing too hard. Habich and Judd had to take five points off the Toyota crew to clinch the title, but disaster struck less than halfway into the stage. A puncture severely limited their pace, and they lost about a minute on the leaders. Six k's in, about 11 k's from the end, we got a, we just went quite sideways into like a loose sand and uh, just pulled the tyre off the rim, so yeah, we had 11 k's with a flat wheel. Father and son pairing John and Douglas Williams from the Western Cape had been setting some impressive time throughout the season, but they seem to be struggling for pace at this point. Defending production car champions Nicholas Ryan and Scott van Heerden in the Bozel Subaru Impreza WRX had no choice but to go as hard as possible, as they had a 16-point deficit to make up on the points leaders. Wilkin and Godrich also had nothing to lose, as they were out of the championship after a seesaw 2007 campaign. That wasn't too bad, but uh, we've got a fuel pump problem, so the car's cutting out the whole time, so we've got to flick the switches to override that, so lost a bit of time at that stage, but we'll be able to fix it now. Making a once-off comeback on this event, veteran Scott Berger and Richard Leake in their Class N4 Automark Subaru Impreza WRX. Also from the Western Cape, Paul Pfeiffer and Cindy Harding in their N4 Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 6. Rocky Reinecke and Christo Ackermann in their Subaru Impreza WRX making a comeback after an absence of three events. Diesel-powered four-wheel drive Dastic Volkswagen Golf of Hein Lauterhahn and Johan van der Merwe has created a lot of interest in South African rallying this season. Production car title favourites Fisser Duplessis and Dave Lefkowitz were not taking any chances. Along with Kronier and Birken, they were the only crew to have finished all events in the points so far. No, we're enjoying it, but we, unfortunately we took a wrong road, so this stage doesn't even count for us. You know, we probably lost 30 seconds, I don't know. The roads are getting slippery now and uh, we've got to keep it tight because there are rocks next to the road but uh, I'm looking forward to the rest unfortunately this stage was a waste with that wrong slotting we didn't wrong slot, we thought we did and we turned around <laughs> conditions were indeed getting worse as the rain began pelting down Lola and Megan for Lark and the team totaled Subaru Impreza WRX the Subaru Bruma backed Subaru of locals Gary Burnt and Lohan Spies First of the A7 cars, Christopher and Dean Riedlinghuis and their team total Toyota Runex. With the title already won, they were looking at cementing their second place in the standings. Jens Hubert and Llewellyn Ferry in their class A7 salmon back at Volkswagen Pilo. Adrian Karth and Duncan English in their A7 Net Connect Volkswagen Polo. Third, but only two points down on De Witt and Redlinghuis, Tony Ball and Alan Bissett in their Bulwer Park Volkswagen Golf. Class A5 champions Gugu Zulu and Carl Peskin were having their second outing in the Class A7 BP Volkswagen Polo. Barry Groblar and Mike Burrows in the Class A7 Sassol Volkswagen Golf. Unfortunately, their rally would end in this stage after mechanical problems. A titanic battle was raging in Class N3, with team totals Rodney Fasahi and Arnu Lechranzi in their Toyota Runex a single point in the lead. 
chasing them down were Mohammed Musa and Henry Dearlove in another Team Total Toyota Runex. Stephen Wilkin and Gert Nienauber in their Panar-backed Volkswagen Polo were in with a remote chance of taking the Class A6 title. Eugene Lawrence and Eugene LaRue in their A6 Team Total Toyota Conquest were hoping for a good result after a disastrous season that had netted a single second place so far. Andre Klinwerk and Des de Fortier in their Class A5 BP Volkswagen City Golf. Claudio Piazza Musso and Greg Gerica had taken the Sasselback Class A5 Toyota Yaris to its first class victory in the previous event and were looking for a strong finish to the season. Fekin and Aris went into a six second lead after winning stage two with Hubbig and Judd seemingly right out of the picture. Ryan and Van Heerden had taken the production car lead. In Class S2000, Hubbig and Judd were almost a minute and a half off the lead, exactly what the doctor ordered for Damso and Paisley. Damso Jr. had retired with engine trouble. Ryan and Van Heerden held a slender lead in N4, while in N3, Fissa and Lacranzi were also just ahead of Musa and Diallo. In Class A7, Joubert and Ferry were well clear of De Witt and Riedlinghuis. Wilkin and Nina were led A6, and Klinvac and De Fortier were ahead in A5. Stage 3 was a tricky 15-kilometer affair that could easily catch anybody out, especially in the conditions which were beginning to deteriorate rapidly. Danso and Paisley would be the first to encounter the conditions. On board now with Kuhn and Hodgson. 90, left 3, is right 1, 50, long right 4, is turn half in right, is turn half in right. Now turn half in right now, go right. 50, left 9, is right 9, is right 9, and long left 6, long left 6, into fork right 1, fork, fork right 1, right 9, now go right 9, right 9, left 9, left, right 1, Right one, long left two, the long two, it's a right one, and fork right one is caution left nine. Caution left nine. Left nine. 150. 150. Cronier and Birkin. Second and Aris. Gemmel and Marsh. All girl team Lola and Megan Verlaff going strong. Pfeiffer and Harding. Lautegan and Van Amerwe in the diesel golf. Burger and Leek. Duplessis and Lefkowitz. And on board now with production car leaders Ryan and Van Yerden. Left side in the middle of the road. He do a two step and left, two step and left side into the right on the cross. Two step and left of yeah. Side into the right on the cross. Ninety. Left three, right one in. Left three, right one in. Long right four into the left two. Into the left and right. Right side and left side. Left two and left and right side and left side. Six. Left nine, right nine. Left nine, right nine. And long left six. Right nine and long left six. Long left six. Right one and four to right line cut, right line cut into left seven feet right, left seven feet right into turn to left nine cross, no cut to left nine, no cut, no cut into the right one, into long left two opens, long left two opens into right two and four right two into double four, 
and four crutches and skid two, the double portion, left mine, left mine, rock on right, left mine, rock on right, C-150. Wilkin and Godrich chasing hard. They had won twice, but had also suffered two major accidents in their first season in Class N4. Gevel and Marsh took their second stage win, but the big news was the retirement of Serge Damso and Robert Paisley on this stage due to broken suspension. Reuter and Sloman were also casualties after numerous punctures and a broken jack. After the break, the title race is around.